Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see validate item in site code. So let's get started. In content editor and experience editor, you can run the validation test manually and view the details about the validation test in the validation result dialog box. To run a validation test manually on an item, first one in content editor for or the experience editor. Navigate to the relevant item or page. Second, to run the validation test on your test item or page in content editor on the review tab in the proofing group, click validate. For experience editor, on the home tab in the proofing group, click validate. So these are the steps that are mentioned from which we can validate the item. The validate dialog box will open up and show you if there are any errors, warnings that we need to look into for this item. So accordingly, you can act on them. These are the validation results that we get. So in types, first we have valid. So valid will have green color and no action is taken for this. No action is required. Second one is suggestion. So suggestion will be denoted in yellow color. Look into the issue and decide if any action needs to be taken. Third one is warning. Warning will be denoted in orange color. You need to act on that issue. Fourth is error. It would be highlighted as red. This is an error, we need to take care of it. Fifth is critical error, so it is denoted in red. The warning appears before we save the changes, so accordingly you can act on it. Fatal error, it is denoted in red. You cannot save the item before the error is corrected. So for that you need to first resolve that error and then only you can save the item. In this example, you can see we have different colors for different items. So validation check is performed and based on that, it will pro provide you results. Some of them those would be red or orange and then you need to look into that. For green, that would be okay. And in the third column, it is saying what actions needs to be taken or it provides a suggestion what you can do to resolve that issue. These are the references that I have used. I will add those in description. In this video, we have seen validate item in site code. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching.